Hey guys, so I just wanted to talk to you about something that I did today. And that would be maidening this thing right here. Took it out for its maiden flights. This is a Space One Meteor frame with a CL Racing F4S flight controller on a DICE 30 amp 4 in 1 ESC with the brand new DICE Shoe 2306 2500 KV motors. These are $10 motors from DICE and I just want to share some of my experience with this because I have not even been flying FPV for a whole year and in the amount of time that I've been flying I have primarily and almost exclusively been flying 2205, 2300 KV motors. Some of these are the good old Ishin motors, the Emax RS2205S's. So those have been pretty much the experiences I've had with 2205's. I've also flown a couple 2600-ish over 2500 KV motors and uh, those would be the ZMX motors. These are the Fusion X20's 2522 KV and then I recently well so from our buddy over there at www.thedronelogic.com I got some Sumax motors. Now these are not the 2207 or the Innovations. These are their bottom of the barrel 2206 2600 KV motors. So these were 15-ish or 7, I want to say they were like 17-ish dollars a piece. Okay? These I found on sale for about $20 a piece a long, long time ago. The ZMX motors came in the quad box. The Ishin Wizard motors, we all know where those came from. And so to date, pretty much 22 millimeter stator diameter is all I had experience with until these dice motors. 2306. I would have never imagined that one extra millimeter in both directions, in diameter and in height, would make as much difference as it made. And it was incredible. Sometimes you go to wind up real fast and you hit that throttle, say, coming out of a fall. Um, and, you know, you want this thing to be able to recover. And one of the things that I've noticed when I come out of those falls uh, to date is that a lot of times it's like the motors have a hard time spinning up. It's almost like there's a delay or a hesitation, and then all at once, and so, you know, I'm giving a little more throttle, a little more throttle, and all at once, it'll kick in, which causes me to kind of bounce up in the air. Which doesn't make for the smoothest of flying. And it can be a little bit frustrating. You almost just kind of throw in the towel and say, it's fine, I'll deal with it. But with these, I don't get that. These things do not shudder. They don't hesitate. They fly strong. And I can only assume that other 2306 motors run in a similar fashion. What I find really surprising about these motors, in case you didn't pick up on it before, is the price point. $9.99 a piece. That's incredible. These are single strand, wide strand wound motors. They have a, a pretty normal, pretty standard notchiness. You know, they're not click, click, click real stiff, but they don't spin freely per se. Obviously they do. You guys that are in this, you'll know what I mean. I spent three batteries on this today. Um, as anybody who lives on the eastern shore of the United States will tell you, it's been cold. I'm in Delaware. It was 21 degrees today. That was the high. So I'd run out, rip a battery, lose feeling in my fingers, and I'd come back in and warm up, and then I'd go out and do it again. So I didn't want to make this about this entire quad. I have, I'm going to have a whole other series of videos about this thing, um, or at least with it as the topic. But I wanted to spend a few minutes just kind of sharing my experience with these motors, and I can't express how excited I am that you can get motors like this for $10, for less than I've ever spent on motors before, cheap motors. 
2205 motors. These Ishin motors, brand new, somewhere between $8 and $10 a piece if you can find them. The ZMX motors, I've seen for $12 to $13 a piece, but they suffer some of the same flaws. Being 2205 motors, they don't seem to have that oomph. These, great motors, and they've got good low-end torque, but they lack a little bit of recovery power. These Sumax motors, I can't really speak to them or to noticing that they have that same problem, however. Um, what I've used these on is my first attempt at a racing rig, and so this being so much lighter than all the stuff I've flown before, that may be helping in the arena of uh, them not having or, or them not experiencing this problem. So for $10 a piece, you have no reason not to get extras. For some of you guys looking for upgrades at a reasonable price, I think we have hit a gold mine. I can only hope that DICE keeps putting these things out, maybe even comes up, comes up with a couple other flavors. Um, something to keep all of our whistles wet and keep us going back for more. So that's all I wanted to bring to you guys today. I hope you can appreciate my input. I always look forward to sharing. This is the first informative video for 2018, and I thought it was fitting since I haven't seen much on these, and they are, you know, creating a stir. They, obviously, people are buying them. Pyro Flip is selling out. Get FPV is selling out. Everybody that has them is selling out. But I haven't seen much on people sharing their experiences uh, or any flight footage with it. So I hope it helps. I think you guys should get in on the bargain while... It's there, and happy crashing.